Legend of the Guardians: The Owls of Gahul is a video game developed by Chrome Studios, Tantalus Media for the Nintendo DS, and published by Warner Brothers. Interactive Entertainment, released on September 14, 2010. It is based on the film of the same name, and includes some elements from the books. The game is available for PlayStation 3, Wii and Xbox 360 as well as Nintendo DS. The game takes place during the events of the movie. Topic. Plot Topic. Introduction The story of the game follows the tale of Shard and his friends. The story coincides with the plot of the movie. In the Canyonlands, the Gloxian monks worshipped the owl god Glox, hidden away from the strifes of life. Surtur and the Pure Ones had been defeated years ago by Lies of Kiel and the land had been returned to peace. However, during the watch of a young guard named Gretter, the monastery was attacked by hags fiends. After losing most of what he knew as his family, he was plagued of guilt and many others who had heard the story branded him a traitor and a coward. After many years of isolation, Gretter took a mate named Lygia and had an egg together. On the night that the owlet was to hatch, the nest of Gretter was attacked by owls and they killed the Gretter and his mate, but the owlet, now named Shard, survived. <laughs> Tutorial Shard charges into battle, at the side of Alamir, destroying catapults and defeating hags fiends. But as the battle continues, Shard gets surrounded by hags fiends and as they collapse in for the kill, Shard wakes up from his dream and we are introduced to our two main characters, Shard and Parzival. Alamir, a character from the Legends of the Guardians movie is the RYB for both of the students. As Shard takes offense to Parzival insulting his father, it escalates into a fight between the two owls and Alamir gives the flint mops, or work for punishment. Ezilrib asks to take care of flint mops. The flint mop is lighting torches for the great tree and just as Shard and Parzival finish their job, the search and rescue Cha comes in with a band of owlets, later revealed to be Sorin, Gilfi, Twilight and Digger, and they are being attacked by a murder of crows. After Shard and Parvazil had cleared away the crows, the owlets went to Parliament to tell them the story St. Aegalius and what the Pure Ones were doing. Parliament came to the decision that Alamir would go to the Canyonlands to verify the truth of Sorin's claim. After the decision, Ezilrib gave Shard the task of secret missions as a guardian and set off to the desert kingdom of Kunar. Topic: The Desert of Kunar. Shard is tasked with finding an eagle named Streak and finding out the cause for the disappearance of young owlets in the area. Shard and Parzival find Streak imprisoned by bats allied with the Pure Ones and free him. Streak becomes Shard's wingman along with Parzival and they go on missions for the rest of the story. Streak reveals that the owlet snatching is true and that the bats are being rewarded for their loyalty by being given some non-Tito owlets. Shard and his band go on a mission to find the hideout by destroying bat sanctuaries to make them reveal the location of the hideout. After one of the bats told Streak it was east of the sanctuary to find the secret hideout filled with bats and pure ones. After they defeat the defenses of the hideout, reinforcements come to defend the hideout, which guarantees the rumors of the owlets being held there. The group finds some bats still taking owlets from nests and after rescuing them, the group realizes that these problems aren't going to stop unless they take the fight to the bats. After a small attack on the streak's nest, the band goes and devises a plan to force the bats out of the hiding places within the compound by forcing them out with fire. The battle becomes more intense as the hideouts are burnt out and the band defeats the defenses. After what seemed like a victory, the Bat Chieftain comes out of hiding to fight with the protagonists. After vanquishing both the Chieftain and what remained of the Bats, they free a wandering hermit named Uriah, who tells them that the Pure Ones are working with the Bats to gain control of a mysterious substance called Flex. He asks to be part of Shard's band and becomes one of his wingmen and the band returns to the Great Tree to inform them about what was happening in the desert of Kunar. The Forest Kingdom of Taito Shard is tasked with finding the activities of the Pure Ones have in the Forest of Taito and finding locals who could know what they are doing. 
Shard and Parzival follow a squadron of pure ones who lead them to a prison with resistance fighters locked up in them. Gameplay According to GameSpot, the gameplay is airborne combat. The player locks onto enemy owls or structures, and the player has the option to attack. If the player chooses to do so, the player-controlled owl will go zooming toward your enemy and wallop it with your claws, as stated in the review. GameSpot also stated that there are some parts where the player has to navigate through gates in a specific amount of time. The player can choose between four owl species to play as before the game starts, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. These include Barn Owl, Spotted Owl, Great Grey Owl, and Great Horned Owl. Topic. Soundtrack The original musical soundtrack of The Legend of the Guardians video game was composed by Winifred Phillips and produced by Winnie Waldron. The soundtrack was released on iTunes by Watertower Music, a division of Warner Brothers Entertainment. The second track on the album, With Hearts Sublime, is a winner of the 2010 Hollywood Music and Media Award in the category, Best Original Song, Video Game. Reception Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul received largely mixed and average reviews. According to Metacritic, the Xbox 360 version has an average critic score of 60 out of 100 based on 13 reviews. While acknowledging its gameplay and other elements as commendable, the majority of critics noted the game's short play time and replay value as a major pitfall. GameSpot gave the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions a 6 tenths rating. Game Informer awarded it 7.25 out of 10 and said, Though limited in scope and complexity, the game does everything it sets out to do and remains a fun family diversion throughout. <laughs>